before creation, yeah. where was Jesus? Before creation? He created, when he wasn't a man? He created the world. No, when he wasn't a man? Well... What was Jesus when he wasn't a man? Well, he has been man. Well, when he wasn't a man? Okay. He before was he was a man? He was, he was the Word. What does that mean? Well, he was, uh, he was the Word incarnate. So was he with the Father? Yeah, he was with the Father. And, what, and did he have the frailty of man when he was with the Father? No. So he had the knowledge? He had knowledge, yeah. So, so you're saying Jesus has the knowledge of the Father then? That's what we just discussing. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Well, the reason we got around about it, yeah, is because you're saying that Jesus was a man and he, like, he and this limited his knowledge. But I'm asking, so did he have the knowledge before he became a man? Uh, that's a good question. Open fears in discussion. Um, I just want to know. Sure, sure. Um, I think God is one who has full knowledge of uh, Judgment Day. But Jesus doesn't? At that time, no. And the Holy Spirit doesn't? The Holy Spirit? Uh, doesn't. To Jesus, no. So Holy Spirit doesn't when, know... When the Father says... No, no, but the Holy Spirit doesn't know the Day of Judgment either. According to Jesus, no. Right, so why not? Because he's not man. No, but again, it's different purposes. I'm not just saying man. No, if the Holy Spirit is God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look, you're trying to say to us God is one yeah, yeah. and they're equal, but now you're saying, in your, in your definitions, explanation of your definition, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're giving me three different people. That's what I'm saying. Three people in one. No, but if the three people my, in my one. My life isn't me. Okay, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, but you're two people. Yeah, yeah. But so you're not one. We no, are you're one union, but you're not two, you're, you're two people. Exactly. Okay, but well, you're saying God. That's why, that's why, that's why the Trinity. Okay, could you and your wife. Word. Let's can say you, try you. Can your wife be inside you? No. Right. So you're saying this. No, so right. So what you're saying to is then the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit yeah. are one in purpose. If you are. Uh, like you and your wife are. Well, they, but you're not exactly yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Sure. That's three people then. That's not one. Yeah, yeah, I agree. There are three people. As they, no, I've never said one person. So there's not one, one God. God. So how many gods people. are there? There's three. Three God, gods. The Son and the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus said in Matthew 2, so three gods. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He's claiming that's equality. And the Pharisees, like right. Riley, could have absolutely stoned him. All right. All right. So there's three gods. Yeah. Okay. Don't no, no, no. What? No. Sorry. Well, you just said it. You just showed me. You actually defined it. One God, three persons. So in Isaiah 45. He's, so you're saying Isaiah your Holy Spirit is a person. Isaiah 45. So the Holy Spirit is a person. Yeah. You can blaspheme the Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus said. Sorry. You can blaspheme the Holy Spirit. So if you can blaspheme the Holy Spirit. What, how would you blaspheme? the Holy Spirit. Saying that it wasn't him when it was. So if you say someone's not the Holy Spirit, that's blasphemy, blasphemy. <laughs> If you say God doesn't exist, is that blasphemy? Yeah, it is, yeah. All right. So, again, now the Holy Spirit, how is that, how, because you can blaspheme the Holy Spirit, how does that make it a person? I know the lie Can you ask me just one question? I've been back, like, It's the same point. One question. All right. Yeah, uh, it say it's been the same point. Can I ask you one question? Yeah, you can. Um, what is the best demonstration of your God? Because, obviously, Trinity, it's easy, you know, that's the question that Muslims, JWs, like, Mormons, that's what they get, you know, try and get Go Christians on, on right? If your God is one, mm -hmm. how before he created time was he relational? Before he created man, was he relational? What's the best demonstration of your God being love? With the angels. Sorry? With the angels. The angels were created as well. Before man? Yeah, but they were still created. Before man? No, I'm talking before angels, before creation. Oh, I don't know when that was. I don't know. So you've got no evidence of God being relational before angels? No, I don't know how long the angels have existed. So, what, what the Bible says, so, so the Quran doesn't say when angels were created? No. Okay, does it, does it say they were created? Created? Of course. So that means that there was pre, there was a pre-time before angels were created. Right. So you're, you're saying that your God was up on, the, on his own without anything there for all of time. So my question is, how is your God relational and how do you know your God loves you? Okay, I'll tell you how my God loves me yeah. and how... What? How my God loves me yeah. is how you're not following God. All right. God loves me so much that he knows the world I'm put in. He knows my enemy within this world. So first thing, my God has told me how to protect myself from my enemy. First thing. Okay. Second thing, he knows there are other people in this world who could cause me harm, as well as other things within this world that could cause me harm. So my God in his love for me has shown me things that I can't comprehend by myself. So he will show me what is bad for me and he will show me what is beneficial for me and he will give me a guide to live my life by that if I adhere to that I will not only be successful here but in the hereafter okay you 
on the other hand yes. have no guide you as a Christian yeah. rely on the words of Jesus when he says render unto Caesar was due to Caesar so now you adhere to the law of the land so you are now at the beck and call of secular man's decision making you have no protection you have no guidance would you say the Apostle Paul why do you call him an Apostle was exactly what you just described was what did he live in the way that you just described in so minimalist terms in, in which way in the way that he's like I don't know sort of just living in a worldly way in what way I don't understand what you're talking about Apostle Paul was living for eternity okay what Christians are living for eternity. What you just described was basically me as some kind of prisoner. No, no, no. You asked me a very simple question. Yeah. How does God show his love for me? Yeah, yeah. And I showed you that he guides me through this world we live in, through all its pitfalls, and shows you what's good and bad for me. Is that not love? When I, when I, when I, when I, listen, listen, listen. To me. Example. Yes. Okay. He says to me, even though Cameron says, drink alcohol but drink responsibly, or gamble but know when to stop, yeah. my creator says, no, 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 don't touch it. Don't listen to that geezer. What's your name? Hamza. Hamza. What's yours? Teddy. Very nice to meet you, Teddy. Hamza, when you cry. When I cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you believe that your God is with you and it can, can understand your tears? Okay. Do you know the teachings of Islam? No, no, no. Okay. We're told as Muslims, when we pray, That's our, what I'm right, Alhamdulillah. That's a good question. When we uh, adhere to our Creator and we follow His guidance and we submit ourselves totally, then He'll become the eye we see with and the hand we throw with. I don't yeah. know, Hamza, when you submit it totally. How do I know? Yeah, yeah. For following the guidance. Why did God send prophets? Well, to, warn. to warn and to guide. Yeah. What guidance do you have? Holy Spirit. No. Jesus went up and he was like a tag team. The Holy Spirit comes up and he comes down and he lives inside of me. No, no. You only believe that because you trust what the Bible tells you. No, I can feel it, mate. mate. I, can, I can explain my testimony. How do you know? How do you I can explain my testimony, Hamza. Okay. And if I explain my testimony, the Holy Spirit could take credit for my testimony as well. Yeah? My transformation, what I used to be like, what I am now. Sure. It's, yeah? That doesn't prove nothing. Yeah? I'm asking you a simple question. You're reading the Bible, yeah, yeah. believing the tag team and all this business. Why are you reliant? Why do you trust this source? Why do you think it's a reliable source of information that you can know it's the truth? For example, I'll, I'll, look, I'll show you. I'll show you him. My answer. Go on. Demonstration. Give me an example. Okay. The Apostle Paul was Saul, murdering Jews, uh, murdering Messianic Jews. Okay. In no time at all, some inflicts, and this guy becomes one of the greatest Christians that's ever lived. No way, stop. Most of the New Testament. Let, let's understand one thing. And, and, and he was an historic person. Can we just let's understand one thing? Sorry, I can't let you say things and build on top of it because I have to take it away as you say it. All right, all right. What was the religion of Jesus called before the Apostle Paul? It was Jewish. Now, what was the religion? Well, was, they were Jews that followed Jesus. Right. Were they Christians? No. Right. So you said Paul was the best Christian. What does that mean? Well, they were called Christians. Uh, that's what they no, were no, they weren't called Christians yeah, until yeah. later. They were called Christians in Antioch. Okay. No, we're not nitpicking. Okay. We're, we are talking, and when they were called Christians, they weren't names they give themselves. I know, I know. Yeah. It was a name to deride them. Right. So I'm asking you, when did Paul get his revelation? Right to Damascus. How long after Jesus ascended? Uh, was it a couple of years? How many years? Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. How long did he go to Syria for? Assalamu alaikum wa sabarakatuh. Well, first he preached the gospel. No, no. He went to Syria straight away. He went to Syria yeah. for three years. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And then the first time he met any disciple of Jesus was after ten years. That's right. All right. So for ten years, the religion of Jesus is going along nicely. Sure. Who is the leader of the church? Peter. Who told you that? Well, Peter is in. He was the one starting in Acts two. He was the one that preached first. No, no, forget Acts okay. two. We were, who's the who's the who's the head of the church? James. The head of the church was Jesus. No, 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 no. no. Okay. There was no church in the time of Jesus. Well, there was. They the, 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 after Jesus they ascended, after Jesus ascended, yeah, yeah. James took control of the religion. According to Acts 15. Okay. First thing about Acts 15, there's a problem with Acts. I'll tell you what the problem is. Acts is biased towards James, as is the Gospel of Luke. And we know this for a fact because you know Luke copied from Mark, yes? You're aware of that? Uh, Luke copied from Mark. No, I'm not. Okay. Where did Luke get his information? 
question from? Uh, well, Mark was mainly written by Peter. No. Well, I'll take that apart in one minute. Let's just go to this first. Who, who did Luke copy from? I don't know. Well, he, he didn't see I'm Jesus. A, I'm, I'm a dyslexic cockney. You're more of a scholar than me. No, I'm not a scholar at all. But I'm asking simple questions here. Luke, okay, let's make it easy for you. Luke is not an eyewitness to any of Jesus' life. Okay? Uh, Do you, Luke didn't walk with Jesus. He didn't witness his miracle. Wasn't any of his disciples. He was. No, he wasn't. He was Paul's physician. Nothing to do with Jesus. Okay. When they, when they all met up, so when, so when what would have been with Peter in Galatians. Okay, we're talking in the time of Jesus, when Jesus chose 12 to walk with him. Luke got first. He, no. He got first hand up. Luke didn't. So, no, 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 no. We disagree. I've got to go, go to my baby. Teddy, Teddy, but listen. Got, but just listen. Five weeks old. Just listen. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I'm that. But understand one thing. Okay. You think Luke was an eyewitness? All right. So now, he at least got eyewitness accounts. No. Okay, that's fine. Luke says. I'll look it up, bro. Luke look says it up. Mark was written in such a jumbled way yeah. that he would rewrite it in a in semblance when he wrote to his friend Josephus. Now here's the thing, yeah. Here's what Luke says. We got on this because I asked about like. No, 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 the, the, no. Because you, there's, you're there's your God. What, like, does he understand? No, 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 no. Because you're believing we, everything from what you're saying. Yeah. But you have to hear this. Sure. If, and we know Luke copied from Mark. Now every time Mark mentions the name James, Luke removes it. Right? So we know now whoever is authoring Luke is editing. He's not just copying, he's actually manipulating. So now you've got a problem because now someone's corrupting something here now. Is the okay. author of Acts. I'm the wrong person, brother. I can talk to you a lot about what I see. And, and I can talk the to Hindus you about can talk to me about healing the sick in that dirty, nasty river. What's that proof? Nothing. It's all about demonstration. When I, say, when, when I get laughed at for believing my God stepped into the world and became less than an angel, brother, I've got a No one's, no one's you laughing my, at that. You've got my sympathies, man, because my God, I've preached on no Lazarus. No one's laughing at that. I've preached on the story of Lazarus on Friday. No one's my, laughing my at you. God no one's laughing at you. Cried with I'll tell you what they are laughing at, Teddy. I'll tell you what they are laughing at, yeah. that you trust this book you're reading. That's what they're laughing at. Because how can an intellectual man in the 21st century read that New Testament how, and think it makes I'm sense? Sorry. How can you look at history, right? Look at this country. Look at the people that influenced it most. You look at William Wilberforce. You look at John Wesley. They stopped slavery. Okay. They turned this country upside down. They were born again believers. If you want to laugh at the Bible that they used to turn this country upside down, what Bible did they use? Then, I'll, then laugh along. With what Bible did they use? They used the King James Bible. Okay. And you rely on that? I love the King James Bible. Why do you? Turn this world down and so why do you rely on the Bible that has manuscripts that are later than the original? Huh? Why? Why do you rely on manuscripts from the sixth century? Alexander yeah, why don't you go to the oldest manuscripts? The editors of Westcott and Hall. Why don't you? But why do you ignore the old test, the old manuscripts? 